it, there seems to be a bit of a, a bit of a culture war emerging or brewing between sort of the old guard of the utility architect or infrastructure and, and kind of the new generation of talent that seems to be um, coming in to backfill the workforce. And uh, often technology ends up being like the cornerstone of that divide. It's like, oh, you know, everybody who's young wants to use technology and everybody who's sort of right now in the industry who's, who's, who's part of the aging workforce wants to do everything to avoid it. Surprisingly enough, I don't think that's supposed to be the case. Energy is not, uh, technology is not meant to be divisive. It's actually meant to be very inclusive. And the tools and technology that are out there now are designed that way. They're not designed for you to have to be, have a PhD in data science or be a, a super whiz kid um, as a programmer in order to be able to leverage the benefits of technology. It's not as scary as people think. Now that you have, you know, sort of electrification of transport, now that we rely so much on energy um, to help us achieve everything that we need to do during a day or to help our families thrive or to even provide access, there's a discrete opportunity right now to qualify energy as, as part of uh, the consumer's lifestyle. So I think at the end of it, smart cities and the interconnection of those smart cities as a network, um, it becomes one big platform. Right? And I don't think there's any other industry that's so well positioned because they already own this broad infrastructure to take advantage of this move to a more platform play. You're starting to find more of an emotional attachment and more of a behavioral science that goes along with energy consumption and where people choose and how people choose to consume their energy. Customers have a great amount of trust in their utilities and they see them as, as stewards um, uh, to help them identify and qualify which technology is valuable and which technology can really bring a meaningful or make a meaningful impact in their lives and, and which might be a, sort of a flash in the pan or something that is a little bit more either transactional or, or a passing fad. So I think utilities do have also are able to leverage that trust that they have with customers um, to be able to bring to them new innovative solutions. That does become um, almost an area of responsibility to be able to act as stewards for technology and, and provide the most meaningful and most impactful ones to their customer base.